local tie dye shop right here in Corkdown is holding a workshop this weekend and it's an opportunity for you to give back to cancer patients. Yeah, Kim DiGiulio is there for us this morning with a preview and a pretty impressive story. <laughs> Yes, guys, good morning. So the event this weekend is called Pay to Play and then Give It Away, which means you'd come here to Detroit Dye House in Corktown. You would tie dye a lovely beanie that ends up looking like this, and then these get donated to cancer patients. Brand Tolhurst received a blanket from Detroit Dye House as a gift while he was battling cancer. And he just believed that art healed. Um, it allowed you to let go of any stressors. Detroit Dye House co-owner Alexandra Chevalette says Brand instantly became a regular here. Attending workshops and quickly falling in love with the colorful tie-dye pieces, including these beanies, which he used to cover his head. Putting on the beanie just sort of exasperated that. He just was like, I love it, this is colorful. The color was what Brand needed in his life while battling stage four neuroblastoma that eventually took his life in 2021 at the young age of nine. He was infectious, like his personality was, and we really as a team wanted to carry his message on and provide that for other children who are still fighting and still working towards that. That's how Pay to Play and Give It Away came about. Detroit Dye Shop asking the community to attend a workshop where you can dye the beanies that Brand loved, each branded with Brand's name. So the idea of the event is to make 400 beanies that go to four different organizations that Brand um, worked with. So we're working with Gilda's Club, we're working with Crowns of Courage, Believe in Miracles, and Kids Kicking Cancer. Each beanie unique and carefully designed with love, just like the blanket that Brand received during his fight. And the idea is really just to work as a community together um, to make something beautiful that goes to other people who are in need and might need a little color and brightness in their life. And joining me live this morning is Alex Chevalette. Uh, so kind of walk me through how this all works. Yeah, so right now these beanies are uh, twisted up in a pleat formation okay. and we use, uh, we're gonna use primary colors today and we're gonna add them on. And basically you're just trying to get your color just like you did um, to create new color. So I like to hold it like a ketchup and mustard bottle and flip it over. Okay. And then I really just begin saturating. Cool. Um, and we really wanna make sure that they're fully saturated. And then you can go to like each color. And what I love about tie dye is mm -hmm. when the colors touch each other and they begin blending, they make new color. Yeah, like the green Yeah, I've exactly. Got here. Okay, so tell us the event is on Sunday the yep, second. Right? Sunday the second and Sunday the sixteenth. So there's two options for you guys to come out and help participate. And the event is solely around making beanies from kid size beanies to adult size beanies. Um, and they will be donated to four different organizations. Um, that we've been working with right. um, and they are Kids Kicking Cancer, Believe in Miracles, Gilda's Club, and Crowns of Courage. And this is something that you know that Bran is smiling down Yeah, that, uh, you guys are doing. Yeah, that. this is sort of in honor of him. He, when we met Bran, we got um, a really amazing opportunity to work with him privately here in our studio and die with yeah. him. And he loved it. He loved the beanies. He thought they were incredibly soft and his goal in uh, his life here was to really help connect other kids with the feeling that he had and mm -hmm. he believed art was a very healing power um, so it we really just wanted is. to carry that message yeah. on. Well thank you so much for joining us.